So, do you want to go through the iPhone versions right now? Please do, yeah. By all means. Yeah, okay. So, so the iPhone versions is completely redesigned. Yeah. It's totally different from the iPad because, you know, when we have the Lightning DS, it's about two years ago. Yeah. So, two years ago, it's an amazing design on the iPad. It's we are advanced and uh, we are ahead of the competitors. But it's as so the time passed. This is what we have. This is, this is DS2, is it? This is on the iPad. Yeah, on the iPad Pro. Pro. Yeah. So that's what it used to look like. And now on an iPhone, you've kind of got this new version here. It's a new version. So, virtually, you access your collection, your playlist, your local library of radio, and the different streaming service from the sidebar. So, virtually, for example, I can take the titles here. Yeah. yeah. You can see all the albums here. Yeah. And uh, you can select from the album. Oops. From the track and also the title playlist that's all sort out it's a different sort yeah. of compared to the titles but it's it's probably the best way audio files it looks like so when you go like in albums here and uh, you can access the album information here that's you can also access the other albums that is recommended by the servers so like for example this is a beatles so and it also have the other beatles and you can click more here and you got all the albums from Beatles and you can also view the artist information here uh, look at here and uh, this is the Beatles and you got the uh, top track albums and uh, everything's here this is a little bit like Rune in some respect, yeah right, right we're doing the Lightning DS and uh, more information we are bringing the album and artist information to the people so virtually we are as i told everyone we are turning the lightning ds flow from a hardware control software into a music control oh, software so you can access to the information of the artist mm -hmm. and it also it also recommend uh, different artists for you and you can also access so and there is also link inside the, the biographic so to lead you to the other album our artists look at this so this is all connected right and this is a cue we call it let you know what is playing right now and you can see it's playing from title and this is a device cue and you can see what inside the Aries mm. device so virtually we also add a new feature this is mm. called device manager you can see all the lighting and device in your room and it's all together so you can see which one is playing and uh, in different look the HE 1000 system is playing on room ready mm -hmm. and uh, the, the audio system is playing the, the title so you got the Z06 Dyn audios in here right so very very minimal setup again yeah it's a minimal so we complete the tree show setup in a half hour so it's, it's just really cool yeah right and you can also there are some group operations here you can like mute all the system at the same time so mm. it's pretty good for a multi-room solution yeah just unmute you know, everything so let's see and for the collections we make it mixed by your local collection and your your title collection so it's it's all together so it's pretty much convenient so this is so the, the local content you've got here is on an Aries Mini, and right. I, I'm willing to bet you've got a little hard drive installed inside the Aries Mini. Right. Right. So, so your local music is here. It's called My Music. Mm -hmm. This is the music inside your your hard drive, or on your NAS drive, or in your homes, mm -hmm. whatever is storage on your USB drive. So, so the interface is so uniform. Yeah. Yeah. You don't really know so where is your music and our, it's some titles it's a mix so it's a, it's a con the entire design concept is to let people enjoy the music rather than focus on the fail sure but just forget about what is a fail it is just focus on the music you're trying to listen so the advantage of using lightning ds instead of using rune and rune ready is that you only need say the aries mini or the aries music 
attach a hard drive to the Aries itself or, or install one inside the Mini, yeah. no extra computer required. Yeah, which you do require for room, right? Yeah, that's right. Because uh, the principle for the concept of Lightning Streaming is to make the system as simple as possible mm. and multiple zoom. You know, with the Lightning DS and the Aries and the whole, whole solution. So you just need a, a streaming device mm. and a cell phone or iPad. You can virtually control all the system in your system mm. and all the streaming device. For example, you have five Aries Mini in your home for different rooms, your living room, your kitchen, your bedroom. Yeah. You just put a hard drive in one of the Aries Mini mm. and all the other Aries Mini in your house can stream from this device. So the magic question then is, when is this iPhone version of Lightning DS coming out? When is it going to hit the app store? It's already in Testify for a month's time. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we are trying to uh, let our customers help us to organize and debug, doing a lot of job. And it's going to be submitted to Apple Store mm. for reveal by this week, just this oh, week. Okay. And uh, the time when it got online depends on Apple's reveal period. Usually it takes a week or two. So virtually you are confirmed to have it within this month. So January of... Yeah, absolutely January. Right, right. And then how long before you transfer this new style of interface back to the iPad version? Well, it's a good question. <laughs> it's a uh, question you know, right? the software development always have some uncertain factors. Yeah. So, so all I can tell is that after we're working on this, we are immediately working on the redesigned iPad version. Right. There will be a Chinese New Year in between. Oh, you probably that, know that. Right. That's February, and they will delay for like a month's time. Yeah. So we probably need another two months after the Chinese New Year to redesign the iPad version. Mm. So virtually. So the iPad version is going to take more time. It's going to be redesigned, and uh, considering about the Chinese New Year, uh, we have another like three months time to get finished. Right. And then you're also working on a desktop app. Yeah, as well. desktop is also separate. It's by another team. It's right. uh, they are already working in progress, so they will be available on Mac and uh, Windows PC. That will be uh, cross-platform. So when you have it done, it's on all the computers. So it will run in the web browser. It's actually a web browser based, but not on your like Safari or Chrome browser. We will install a special browser for you. Right. It's very similar, like the Tidal app on your computers. Right. Yeah. So the question then: What that's about that's the Android users? Will they be able to use a desktop app like in the browser? Well, uh, that's a good question for Android. You know that we have suspended the development mm. on the previous Android version, mm. and uh, our team is looking for a method to support the Android, yeah. and uh, without having a compatibility problem. Yeah. So what we are thinking about is probably we can have a web browser version that has been redesigned from the desktop version, so it will probably work, but. Nothing's promised at this point. Sure, Where sure. You but you're st it's still, it's still on your roadmap off to the side a little bit. It's still very early stage because we need to do a lot of research on the mm. possibilities right now because mm. we know some of the program they use in the same structure and uh, it actually works. Mm. But for the lightning streaming, what makes this different is because it has a lot of communication with the hardware. Mm. So a lot of low level coding has to be done, which means we're still facing the compatibilities with Android. Different right. software version, different ROM, different hardware, everything is unknown. Right. And finally, can you show us how the how Rune yeah. Ready integrates into the or into either app? I mean, you yeah. Firstly, the with the new version of the software, you will see here, like uh, if you want something, there will be a, an option called availability input. So. When you switch it on, you can see that on your room app. So that announces it to the network. Yeah, right. So if you don't want it to be discovered by Ruin, you just switch it off. Mm -hmm. It's like this. So your Ruin cannot find it anymore. So it's very subtle and it's run to the background and it's just like a background service that you can switch uh, it on. When you switch it off, it's completely quit. That yeah. means you probably get a under some quality because some of different uh, thrill on the background is stopped. So when you mm. turn it on, it's running on background. 
and so it's discoverable. So on your computers, virtually, you have the rule. Look, this is a beta version. It will show an Aries logo here, not that one. Yeah. So when you try to play something, you will see the zoom and call Aries. But virtually, you have the beginning. You go to the ruin, uh, preferences, and audio. Look, you can see your network device. This is a ruin right here. You will see the Aries here. Yeah. And this is a series number. And this is called the output mode. And you just click here. It's, dis it's disabled, so it's well, already enabled. So you yeah. can you can name your Zoom, and it's here. And virtually, if you want to use your system setup, that's from your yeah, laptop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And if you want a room ready, yeah, yeah. so you just click, and it will start playing. Because so that's pretty easy. Going it's going. Wall. Look, that's here. It's I know, and running this source. <laughs> Run advanced like transporter like and run out to this. Hours. Hours. So it's still the beta version, <laughs> yeah. the logo is not okay. the final one. You, you probably got the final one in a couple of days. But this is still a fantastic development for you guys. Yeah, sure. You know, to have that as an extra. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, John.